Hello, I'm Jamie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite shows which is BBC's Ghosts. Um, I've talked about it before in my TV shows I Won't Stop Recommending to People video and if you don't know it was created by the Idiot Six who created the Horrible History series, well they starred in the Horrible History series on CBC. Um, the premise of the story is that Alison um, and her husband Mike inherit a large manor house and after an accident and Alison pretty much dies and then comes back to life she's able to see the ghosts that inhabit the house and it's funny it's absolutely amazing um, obviously this video will have spoilers in um, so watch ghosts before you watch this video um, but I'm going to be theorizing about how all the ghosts died and there's some obvious ways we've actually had some episodes that explore how some of them died before um, so yeah <laughs> So first of all, I just want to establish what the laws are about being a ghost and how your death is represented in your ghost form. So their ghost form is of them when they died and how they died. We can see this with Mary being covered in smoke as she was burned to the stake and packed with an arrow through his neck. Thomas also has a gunshot wound. However, there is some leeway with this as Fanny, who she is pretty intact despite falling from a window, and we saw from Alison when she fell from the same height, she had bruises and grazes and like her neck was in a cast. Obviously her neck would be a cast if she was a ghost, but so yeah, you would expect to see some sort of wounds, but there aren't. So there's a little bit of leeway with that. So Fanny, she was pushed out the window by her husband after she caught him cheating on her with two other men. This we know, uh, it's established. I think this is the first death that was pretty much established. And like I said before, no real scarring, but yeah. Another very obvious one is Pat. Um, again, we can tell how he died because he has an arrow through his neck, but then this was explored in one of the earlier episodes and it was shown that how he was accidentally killed by a boy scout who he was teaching archery to who accidentally shot him through the neck with an arrow. Mary, like I said before, was burnt to death in the witch trials. However, we don't know what crime she committed to be burnt at the stake. Um, she is the only ghost still traumatised by her death Maybe because she's ashamed of what she did to get burnt at the stake, or maybe because her death is the most horrific out of everybody's. So some of the common things that people, with the women in particular, were burnt at the stake for was like being able to do maths and being smart or not wanting to settle down with a husband or just crazy ridiculous stuff or like adultery, um, that kind of stuff. Now. Mary isn't very intelligent when it comes to reading. We see in the start of the first episode of season two that Alison is basically teaching her how to read. So it can't be really anything to do with that, I don't think. And she, her character is someone who throughout the series, she's like, you know, renounce Satan. Oh, I saw, I think I saw something that resembled Satan, you know, that kind of stuff. So I, I do think her, she was innocent for whatever she got burned at the stake for but hopefully we'll have that explored soon. Um, as it has been, we have kind of had been teased about it and so have the other ghosts in it actually, that um, she won't talk about the witch trials. So Thomas, we know it was shot to death in a duel and he was actually set up by his cousin. I'm not gonna go too much into this because pretty much it was all explained in one episode. Um, so yeah, and he's got a gunshot wound so it shows how he died in his ghostly form. Next, I'm going to talk a little bit about the captain, and he is one of my favourite characters in the show. I, I mean, I love all of them, but I, I do have a soft spot for the captain. Um, as we know that he is in the army, he is in his army suit. We don't actually know his real name, he's just known as the captain, which is his rank. My initial thoughts was that he didn't actually go to war, he didn't fight in the war, and in fact died somehow just at Button House, because obviously his ghost is at Button House, so that's where he died. And that's where they were training. So I thought initially maybe there was something to do with that. However, I looked on the wiki fandom page or the fandom wiki page and found out that the badges on his jacket thing are actually badges that he would have been given after the war. For example, there is the War Medal 1939 to 1945, which was issued to all service personnel during the war. So he would have received that afterwards. 
and there's also the 1939 to 1945 star which was issued to personnel for service in the war so again he would have he would have received that after the war so they theorized that the captain then returned back to button house to carry out hq duties which makes sense so he survived the war and again there is no gunshot wounds on him there is no markings at all however the one thing i have noticed about the captain is that he seems to have an issue with like like bending down like i, I can't remember what it was in season one and he like basically squats down to the floor and he's obviously like really painful just like ah and trying to get back up so andy also in the first episode of season two he's running around he's trying to speed up his time and he also when he's stretching he's like groaning kind of shows that he's in pain maybe so that's i kind of think it might have been something to do like maybe he's like broke his back or broke like his yeah i'd say probably like broke his back somehow i was just trying to imagine what would cause pain in doing like squat into the ground it sounded like kind of like cracking bones when he got back up i'll try and include a clip but i have had issues with trying to get we're trying to put clips of ghosts in videos before as they always get blocked um and i don't want to like steal footage from anywhere um but yeah i think i thought we were going to get an explanation of the captain's death in his episode um about yeah but we didn't um but we do know is he worked with guns and he worked with bombs at the um, Button House. So maybe something to do with them. Next, I'm going to talk about, well, Julian. We know died in a sex dance scandal, but I don't really want to speculate too much upon that, to be honest, because it's probably very weird. Kitty. Uh, also, we don't, we don't know how Kitty died. Um, she is Georgian and would have been around in the like 1700s. Um, and I think she's probably the most obscure death. Again, there are no markings in her body, no like wounds or anything. However, my theory is that because she's very naive and she wants to be liked, that this could have been taken advantage of. Um, so we know that she used to play hide and seek with her sister and would be left out for hours and hours and hours outside. So much so that she befriended a statue and I think she said to eat leaves or something. Um, so I think maybe, maybe that's how she might have died. She was playing hide and seek for too long, maybe like starved to death or got like hypothermia. Or perhaps that she was kind of dared to do something by her sister, that it was dangerous but she just wanted to do it anyway because she wanted to please them or she wasn't, she couldn't see the danger of it. So that's what I kind of think, however there could be something completely different, I don't know, that's what I think. Robin is the oldest ghost in the house and he is a caveman. Again, his death is unknown, but a lot of people seem to believe that he was killed by a bear because of his, off, because he often mentions bears. However, again, there were no wounds to support this on his body, and his the way he talks about bears to me doesn't really seem like it's something that he was killed by, but more that he is almost fascinated by. Um, I was thinking maybe something simple like malnutrition or something. I honestly, I think he might be one of the hardest ones to work out because it literally could be anything. He's a caveman. I'm trying to think how cavemen would have died. Because obviously we know if you die from like an illness, like the plague people, they have like their boils stood on their body. So I imagine if he died from an illness, you'd some like he would look ill. Um, also, in regards to the wounds, we do see at one point the. Um, uh, when they're looking around houses to buy there's the guy in the window with the party hat and blood running down his face so it's like if he's actually got like, blood running down his face and surely other the other ghosts who if they have been like say if robin was attacked by a bear then surely there'd be some sort of wounds on him to substantiate that but i don't know that's why i'm kind of not tempted to go for the bear theory I feel like there might be something else but then I don't know, I reckon the writers are going to come up with some very, very clever and genius stuff to explain how they all died. So I cannot wait. And I think we only have to wait till Christmas this year, which is good. Next is a kind of obvious one, is Humphreys, who um, obviously was beheaded, and he is Tudor, so he's from the Tudor era. And we do know that Henry VIII visited Button House, so perhaps he was executed on Henry VIII's orders, which would make sense time-wise and, like, era-wise. 
and punishment wise as well um so yeah i thought that we might get a little bit of an exploration for him his character is kind of like to the side a bit um so it'd be nice to know a bit more about him and then the plague people obviously died in the plague which we know obviously so yeah if you've got any theories let me know down below and maybe after season three comes out after the christmas special i might update this if i find any more little clues because at the moment i'm mostly mostly going off what they've said and what their ghostly apparition looks like so do let me know if you've got any ideas um yeah i hope you enjoyed if you did please like it and comment down below anything you want to comment down below and subscribe if you like it because i probably will talk about ghosts again because I absolutely love it. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye.